Alright guys, here we are again for another Spacey's rating. Get a Spacey score at the end of this one. We are looking at Borderlands and um, yeah, one of the new releases at the time of filming this. And I'm looking forward to getting into this game. It's got a nice presence about it already. So let's rip in and see how it plays. Straight off the bat, guys, it's it's uh, engaging. The table looks actually really nice too. In terms of you know just everything we'll talk about, all the individual aspects later. But yeah, as a total look for a pin, this is really nice. Shoot these guys twice. <laughs> Got some shooting going on. It's funny actually because it's sort of not like the the uh, bro brothers at arms shooting, but that's because it's Borderlands, right? So it's just a different sort of feel. Ah! Oh, I'm missing that. I need that left hand loot box. Missed it. So it looks like they come back up. Got to get those loot boxes quickly. Wow, <laughs> wow, the table looks so nice, dark. Okay, that was the shot I was looking for on that left hand flipper. Whew. Yeah, that's nice, eh? Like from that darkness back into the rich full colour of the game. Man, you've got to get these guys quickly, don't you? Let me try a little bit harder here. Oh, shoot again though, full save. I don't know about that voice call out with this way recruit all the time. A little bit annoying. <laughs> this way recruit. Interesting orbit shot there. Six out of ten, I missed that on the DMD. Quite a bit of wasted space on that DMD, I must admit. <laughs> Around the outside there, and the graphics bit could be could be better. I wonder why they've, why they've done that. Probably more pronounced on a smaller seven-inch screen like I've got. Trying to take it all in. Experience here so far, it's, it's uh, been a nice pin experience. I like how the music sort of dropped out a bit there, and it sort of now we're back into the, the other sort of sound that didn't last long. Bit of a shame, would have quite liked to stay there for a bit with that music. 
All right. I need to see more what's going on in the DMD because I'm shooting so so much down the bottom here, and it's quick. The ball quickly comes back. I'm not flicking my eyes up to see what's going on. And there was nothing there. <laughs> when I looked up, there was nothing there on the screen. Ooh, that white on white's not great. Shoot more and miss less. <laughs> Shoot more and miss less. That's actually quite funny. If you had aimed the ball in the proper directory, you would have been rewarded. <laughs> Thank you, Data. Right, so I can go up here as well. I'm supposed to be finding a shield of some sort, which has been the ongoing thing. Oh, wow. Okay, that was my mistake. Ball was saved though. Okay, got a loop. Okay, that loop. This way, recruit. Ten, select a weapon, use the flipper button. What have we got? Bogeyman. Oh, okay, we've got these weapons here, which is really cool. Skull Smasher, looks like is what has been chosen. Give them more hits to drive up the top there. Oh, okay. Oh, man. That's it now. Trying to work out. No, that's in the box. Hey! Hey, nice little magnet in the middle there. No, I haven't found the Sam Shield. I bet I'm probably supposed to be going for these rams now they're flashing as well, so maybe it's time to hook up there. If I can get there rather than going to the outside orbit. And wow. Actually quite a rewarding shot that though, that orbit shot. You missed that ramp. Five more hits, hit the enemy, 24, 23, right, hit the enemy, 24, it's going up and down, I'm not sure why. Hey, here we go. Come down to see me. Let's <laughs> go back up the top there. Now yeah, select a character. Again, this would be nicer if there was more graphics up the top there. It's a little bit out of proportion because it looks like some nice graphics there. Amara. All right. Amara is. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, okay, well look, we'll go again guys, we'll go again. It's, um, cool. this table is interesting in lots of ways. That effect, sound effect they've got on that voice though is pretty grating. A lot of target brain shooting here.
hit one, hit one, critical hit. Oh, that's because that's the second one, isn't it? That's one, yeah. Okay, on that, that was hit two, that critical hit. How come I got a two hit on that one? Did you go down twice? Wow, love how it goes dark like that. In the event of accidental duplication, Hyperion recommends killing your double and never speaking of it again. <laughs> I do like those those particular call outs. Sure? Alright. Some nice uh, sarcasm. So, and there's nothing on the DMV here, guys, like right now. So I just have the lights to go for and the two loot boxes. And these reset. I've got balls locked here. I guess now it's giving me a status report, which is pretty cool. That's like a, a Williams table would do. But it's not telling me what I need to do right now, other than obviously what's been what's lit up here. Catch a ride times three. It's funny how I did stop when we come to that sort of quiet music again. Is he saying a deal or a shield? <laughs> Sounds like deal now. Down he comes. Not getting that shot down. Oh, it's a little bit repetitive at the moment. I think it's actually, not actually funny enough, I used my Magnusave buttons to do the nudge, and it gave me a Magnusave feature, which is cool. There, okay, so we got the lock. I'm trying to get something happening here, guys. And I should still be selecting characters here. Going for Zane. Unsure why <laughs> and what the difference is between them. We're getting different music, maybe. I'm going to go for those rams. Ah, damn it. Okay, <laughs> bricking it. I got it in the first game. Ah. Oh. Here we go. Expensive? 
Ask about our rat incarnation. Okay, ball three, guys. Ball three. Got another one. Generous. Oh. oh, what did that do? It's, oh, man. Oh, boy. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that was a, that's a bit of an experience. Let's uh, turn the sound down, guys, and give this a, a spacey score. This is a interesting table in so many ways. Uh, first of all, uh, as a theme to translate into a pimple table, absolutely. Like, I'm not a big Borderlands guy, um, and that might be part of the bit of confusion that I'm having uh, with this table but um, you know again it's a little bit more like you know the average Joe coming up and playing it and how they feel about it uh, in terms of you know sort of my reactions on this table um, and the theme is the theme is good uh, in terms of yeah I'm, uh, without knowing all the components it all comes together well for a good look feel and a certain atmosphere so Yep, the theme's good. Let's give this, uh, I think this theme is worth a worthy eight. I think, yep. Atmosphere. Um, got some nice elements to it, uh, especially like, you know, when some of the other things come together, like the lighting changes and that sort of thing just help with the atmosphere. Uh, the call-outs are a little bit aggravating um, on the way through. It's not, a, it's not a game with a strong atmosphere as such good atmosphere but not strong so i'm going to give it a seven i think on the atmosphere in terms of the layout and could this be a credible real pimple table i think it could i really like how they've done these drop targets uh with these uh characters on them i think that's a nice touch and makes it feel more real obviously if the animation touches on top guys but in terms of the actual layout of the table yes it could be it feels a little um, one-dimensional in, in a way with the you know so much going on just with the shooting range guys in, in the middle and it's nice it's satisfying shooting those but it does get a little bit repetitive and I think that the DMD really helped me in relation to trying to work out what I needed to do you know in conjunction with just the lighting it seemed like there was a, a number of things I had to get through up to a certain level and I was hard didn't track, track of it all guys so just give my honest thoughts on that so um the layout yeah i think it's it's good but it's not great so i think i'll give it a six uh table artwork is really nicely done really like the middle art here and the characters in the, in the middle. I love the tonal qualities, the coloring is superb. Um, you know, there's some sort of broad areas with not a lot on it, but but I think that's good. You don't want, you know, you don't want things that are just totally busy and, and you want a bit of space. I think it's done really well. Probably the, the only thing that lets it down a little bit is the sort of grating stuff. It's not that interesting up here. Um, but everything else is really good. The outside's slightly out of it. But it's up there. Um, I really have to, you know, just get, just given the just the quality of... Yeah, it's a hard one, eh? I, I want to give it a 9. Because it's... It, it looks beautiful. Even when it goes from the light to, to the dark. And it all still works, guys. So, yeah, I'm giving it a 9. I'm giving it the artwork a 9. I think it's really sweet. Uh, animations, yeah, only just a few little pieces of animation there in the middle of the guy jumping down. I uh, didn't notice a lot of other things. It's pretty sparse in the animation space, guys. So, again, maybe I didn't really hit the right, you know, modes to get things started. Uh, but I'll give it a five on my experience with those two games. Graphical effects, again, similarly, nothing amazing going on in terms of graphical effects. I think we're sitting at the middle of the road here with that as well. Um, 
maybe even a less than a five to be honest because I didn't really see a lot of really sort of cool effects on this particular table so I'll, I'll, I'll give it a four. Uh, now lighting. Now lighting is actually very good on this table. It's good in this mode. It's not flat and again we always have a challenging cabinet mode because you're not seeing things in, in a three dimension either in a, in a real sense and also you know, in like a desktop uh, view, you get a real height difference in that. And so some of these tables really suffer from that because of the lighting, but there's nice depth of shadows and stuff, and it really does help in cabinet mode. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's done really well. And then when it flicked into the dark mode, it was really good as well. Um, so I think for lighting for this particular table, I'm going to actually go out on a limb and give it a nine. I think it's actually really good. It's really nice. Liked it. Now the DMD, yeah, a bit of a letdown. It's obviously one of the newer DMDs which I like. Uh, there's just too much. I don't know what. It's just too much gra graphics around the side, and there's some cool stuff going on the on the inside that needs to be bigger. It needs to be less of this, less of the borders. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so yeah, and then it. It wasn't telling me what I, you know, I looked up and there was nothing on the screen there. I felt like it was a little bit a bit devoid there. So it gets points for being the new format because I'm right into that in terms of the new coloured format, guys. But it, it loses points for those other reasons. So I'm thinking it's going to, you know, it would start up at a sort of an 8 with these new DMDs um, and then go up if it's awesome and then come down. And I think it's going to come down and unfortunately it's going to end up at around a 6. 6 for the DMD. Music. Now the music is good. It's it's fitting. Um, it's not awesome, uh, but it's not bad. <laughs> so I think this is a bit of a middle of the road one. Can't fault it. Can't you know go go gushing. It's a seven. It's a seven on the music. Sound effects. Uh, again, I pointed out. I think at the start they're just in relation to the shooting and stuff. Very different to Brothers and Arms and shooting, which I felt had a, a more impact. But I guess it's this the theme, this particular theme, and the the sounds are relevant to this theme. Obviously, we're not in a in a, in a war, uh, like an old war situation, right? So yeah, look, it just didn't um, didn't grab me significantly, uh, and so therefore, I think I'm going to give it a six. With the callouts, um, I did find them humorous. The callouts when you're going to shoot a bull after you've lost one. Um, that was pretty cool, but the repetitive nature of some of the call-outs, the sound of them is grating. Um, I think that's just, just get on your nerves for a while. I think that's an area too Zen really needs to be very careful with, it's just the re your repeating of call-outs. Just being very careful how a table may play naturally and then how certain call-outs will, you know, may keep happening. Um, I find with real tables, like they they tend to pay, they must pay attention to it because you don't get it you don't get that as much. So yeah, it's this human brain, right? We pick up on you know repetitive sayings. If the repetitive sayings are good, that's all you know that's cool and they sound awesome, um, then that's fine. But yeah, so I think this is let down in that department, other than the sort of funny stuff. So I'm going to give it a. Um, yeah, it would annoy me. It would annoy me very quickly, and it already did. So I'm going to give it a four on the callouts. For the flow, well, it was just a lot of stop-starty action, shooting this range in the middle, getting the balls up the side. Um, orbits were good, but, you know, it's not a big flowing table, and it's a big part of the top part of the table. You don't really get up too much. Sort of bogs down in here sort of thing, and there's, then there's all the space and... Uh, yeah, it sort of it does affect the flow a bit. So yeah, I don't think it's high. I think the flow we're looking at is six, guys. Uh, shot interest, well, yeah, just a lot of shooting these, which is good, but it does tire. You tire of it pretty quickly, uh, and then it's not completely sort of obvious again where to go next. And some of those other shots, got that sort of Adams family flipper on the side here. I couldn't get that shot. That wasn't very satisfying, uh, regardless of my skill. So yeah, shot interest is pretty low. Initially it's sort of pretty cool, but it fades pretty quick. So I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a five for shot interest. Um, might be a bit, bit, be a bit harsh, but you do sort of get caught up in that middle, so yeah. 
a challenge. It's definitely a good challenging game, that's for sure. I felt like I was being challenged and, you know, it's hard to make those, all of those shots. Um, except for the orbit, I think, was pretty quick and easy to get around because I keep missing the ramps. But um, the challenge is there. It's just a little bit frantic again and I'm unsure about, you know, when getting the loot crates and what's going on there and how many times you got to hit it and all the rest of it. So, but that's nothing to do with the challenge itself. The challenge is good. So I'm going to put the challenge, um, I'm going to put the challenge up there at about eight actually. Cause it is a good challenging table. Um, so that rates pretty highly. The physics feel uh, good. Again, nothing untoward with any of it. The, you know, didn't feel like there was any, you know, it's a funny actually guys, because I actually thought there'd be some more variations to physics and maybe there will be in some of the older tables because we have started the series with a lot of the newer tables and it's all very good, which is what we would expect, <laughs> right? Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna keep keep on the on the eight scale and we'll see if there's any sort of further variances and maybe some of the older tables, who knows? We'll just, we'll check that out as we go through. The fun factor on this one, um, yeah, initially sort of quite fun, but yeah, again, as I said, tire, tiring a little bit and mm, a bit sort of, meh. It's a bit of a shame in a way because, like I said, the artwork is so good and the lighting and it really looks really nice and just some of these other areas, it's let down a little bit. So, uh, fun factor, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'd have to put it about a five if I'm being, being honest there. So that's, that's fun factor. Replayability. Because of all of these other areas, I, I, I think I'm, I come back to this table because it's new, it looks nice, and from that angle you sort of want to get in and play it. But then I think it's frustrating, but I think you'd come back maybe for a game and, you know, have a game and then shit off to another one. And that's that's cool, and that's still really good, you know, and there's so many other tables to play that it's, that's, that's not a bad thing at all. Uh, but yeah, I think re replayability from that basis is, is really around a six. Uh, X Factor, finishing it up with a Spacey's X Factor. The only real X Factor I can give is in relation to how it looks. Um, again, coming back to the artwork and lighting, there's a bit of an X Factor there in terms of this table. It's like, wow, this looks pretty cool. But yeah, it sort of falls, falls flat a little bit after that. So I can't give it anything more than a two, just a couple of points to bump it up on the X Factor there. So guys, that's it. We've got through to another spacey score on Borderlands. Hope you got something out of that and was a little insightful. We don't go through all the rules and bits and pieces. This is about experiences and for you guys that may want to buy the table and get, you know get some initial impressions. But of course, you'll have your own. Um, but yeah, a, a deliciously looking table. And maybe some of you guys that are a bit more Borderland type uh, players may uh, appreciate a little bit more. All right, guys, well, uh, let's move on to the next one. We'll see you then. Until then, ciao for now.